Hey there, welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna be taking you through step-by-step -step how to build a complete SaaS website using a powerful no-code website builder called Emergent. There's a link in the description below if you wanna create your free account and get started. Uh, I actually just started building this website about 45 minutes ago. I just got back from lunch and it's already finished. Nice thing about this tool is that I didn't have to write a single line of code. I simply issued it a prompt. It built the complete website for me. So without further ado, let's get into it. Please subscribe to the channel and enjoy the tutorial. We're gonna build a complete website in this tutorial using Emergent. There's a link in the description below where you can sign up to get started for free. And then once you log in, you'll be presented with your dashboard right here. It's just asking me, what would you like to build today? with a prompting text box down below. So in this case, I actually want to build a, a separate website for my AI automation agency, just to see what it looks like in Emergent and compare it to the one that I've already built in Lovable. So I've asked ChatGPT over here to create a prompt to build a website in Emergent for my AI automation agency. The nice thing is ChatGPT already knows what my company's about and knows the name of the company, everything from previous searches. So I'm just going to take this entire prompt right here, which is very long and complete. I highly recommend using ChatGPT to create the prompts for building the website because it's just gonna look a lot better and you don't have to edit it very much. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna come back over here and copy and paste in that full prompt to build a website for Automogic. By the way, there's a link in the description to my actual website if you want to work together with me and my school community, feel free to check it out. And then down here under advanced controls, I'm just gonna select GPT-5 as the AI platform to build this. And I don't wanna use too many credits, so I, you can also set your budget here as well. I only have 10 left, so I'm just gonna make it eight for now. And uh, it looks like that's going to run out relatively soon, so I will need to upgrade to the paid plan, which is only $20 per month. It's actually even cheaper than Lovable. Uh, to use this platform. But for now, I just want to test it out. So we're going to run this entire prompt. And as you will see, it's now setting up an environment and configuring, uh, adding the cloud, initializing cloud environment and starting the AI agent. So this just takes a couple seconds. And once this is finished, it will start building the complete website. I don't have to write a single line of code. All I have to know how to do is type and issue the correct prompts. The agent is now asking me some questions. This is fairly typical every time you build a website in Emergent. Uh, they, we just need to supply a bit more details here so that it has something to go on. So it's asking, first of all, visual direction. Uh, should I use the green AI design system? Um, in that case, I'm just gonna say yes. So for number one. Uh, two, scheduling, do you have a Calendly link? So in that case, yes, I do have a Calendly link and I can just provide that link right away so I can integrate it directly into the site. And then I can provide that. And it's also asking for some other things such as content assets, like high quality images to use as placeholders for testimonials, logos, and like a founder photo. So in that case, I'm just gonna do that later. And then for analytics, I can share my Google Analytics um, ID basically so that I can build that in right away. But in that case, I'll probably just wait until later to do that as well. Okay, so now I've answered all of the questions to the specification. I'm just going to hit run again. It will spool up the agent and start uh, building the website based on the answers to these questions up here. Here's the questions. So I've answered all of those. And now it's just gonna take a while to build the initial version of my landing page for the AI automation agency. And while this is running, I wanna take a few minutes to show you my website as it exists right now. This is my website, automogic.com, which was built 100% using a tool called Lovable. I didn't have to write a single line of code and it's really nice. I mean, I love the design of this. And if I click on one of these buttons, it will just scroll down to that specific section. And uh, if I click on this, it will create a pop-up to book a consultation call. Link in the description below if you wanna check out this website, if you'd like to work together with me uh, on a one-on-one -on -one basis or consulting. And yeah, so I really love the design of this, but I am curious to see what Emergent is able to come up with. So it should take a couple more minutes and the website should be finished soon. 
Um, as you can see here, it's also included a link to my calendar and there it is. So looks like it's already finished a basic mock-up, like an MVP, minimal viable product of the website. And right away I can tell I'm not really loving the design all that much. I think the one that I have is, is much better, but it's not quite finished yet. So it's still working on the overall front end design. There's not going to be too much back end to this. I may need to set up some sort of database uh, in order for people to log in, create an account similar to what I have over on my website here, where they can basically sign in and sign up uh, to create their account, which, you know, that wasn't that difficult to build something like that. Uh, but in this case, I don't think I'm necessarily going to need it. I really just kind of want to see how Emergent compares to Lovable in terms of what it can build. So while this is still working and it's, you know, creating some of these other files here, I'm just going to open this up in a new tab. And here we are. So this is the website as it exists right now. I'm Yeah, it's okay, but I don't really like the color scheme all that much. That's definitely something that we could easily change with a few simple prompts. Uh, I definitely prefer lovable. I mean, this design is just way more clean and professional, but we'll see. It's not actually finished yet. It's still creating the files over here. It says the front end MVP is live with mock data and local storage only forms. All pages render and the CTAs work. So that's good news. And now it's asking if I want to build out the back end. In this particular case, I'm probably going to skip building the back end, uh, but I would be curious to see what the blog looks like because that's something I actually want to build on my actual website over here as well through Lovable. So let's see what it can do. I'm just going to answer these questions. Um, we're going to, let's just make a simple CMS system. So see what that can do. And then also for the hero visual, um, I would like to change that because that's basically the uh, this gradient section right here, which I don't really like all that much. So we're going to update that. It says add an abstract AI illustration. So we'll see what that looks like. And then also number four would be any copy tweaks for the hero subtitle before the back end. Not for now. So I'm just going to say no. So now I've answered all those questions and it's going to take couple more minutes to make the back end. So for this step, it looks like it's running some sort of image agent to create different images. Uh, not exactly sure what this is doing. I'm imagining this is for the hero image of the website. And also this sub this headline is way too long as well. I would prefer it to be something very short and punchy, like, you know, save time, cut costs, scale faster with AI solutions. That's super dialed in, but this one is just a bit too long. So it's really easy to change this just with a few simple prompts. But first of all, I want to see what the book a strategy call does. So just as I imagined, it opens up in its own tab over here. Ultimately, for this part, I would like it to open up inside of a pop up on the website rather than going to another tab with my calendar. But that's OK for now. And then for view, view services, that scrolls down and then we can see some of the services here. These are not clickable. And overall, I would say that they leave a lot to be desired. Um, but let's check the contact form as well. So we can check out the contact form here. And uh, so this is on its own separate page instead of on the same landing page. Whereas my website over here, if I just click on, you know, book a consultation, we've got this pop up here, which looks really nice. And then we can also scroll down to the bottom if we click on get started. And then here's the contact form, right? So I think that's just much more professional. But overall, I'm pretty impressed by what it came up with just right out of the box. Um, my other, my main website took many, many hours to build. So this is still pretty impressive for just like a minimal viable product. Um, but yeah, it definitely leaves a lot to be desired for sure. It's not finished yet though. It's still building the website, adding to the different files as you can see here. So if you want to preview any of these or change anything as well, you can also edit them. Well, you should be able to edit them, but I guess you can. It says cannot edit and read only editor. So in this case, I can't actually edit these files, maybe because they're not actually finished yet. That could be part of it. It's still processing. But uh, yeah, it's doing a pretty good job building out the website 
for me from scratch. Uh, Automojix front end MVP is live and polished, so that's good news. And there's some specifications about the front end right there and some notes. So they included a Calendly link, which we've already seen. That's good. Uh, it also added an AI illustration, which we can preview here. And it says all navigation routes render correctly. Fax open, close smoothly. Calendly appears in contact. So that's good. Your inputs to proceed. So in this case, I'm probably not going to continue proceeding with this website unless it looks better now. So I do like the design a bit more. Um, it's not quite as ugly, I would say. Uh, and, you know, they put an image in here, which doesn't really fit with the overall design of the website whatsoever. But uh, yeah, it's, it's definitely looking a bit better now. This part's kind of a mess. It doesn't really look very good. Uh, these are some testimonials. So, you know, it's possible that Emergent may be better for building like web apps and mobile apps versus full land, full websites. Because overall, like I'm still much more impressed by what Lovable can do versus Emergent. But it, it can be fixed up, you know, with some more prompting. Uh, you can make turn this into a beautiful website. I could say, you know, when the user clicks book a free what does the button say again? Book a free strategy call. Open the calendar in a pop-up inside the website, something along those lines, right? Because I wanted to actually just open up in, a, in an interstitial pop-up rather than going to a separate tab, similar to what I used to have over here. Uh, basically, when, when they could book a free consultation, this used to be my calendar embedded on here, but then... I figured a lot of people wouldn't really just book a call right away. They, it's better if I ask them for some information in order to pre-qualify them a little bit. So that's why I've decided to go this route. And I was actually looking at another website called Build Room, which I, which I kind of modeled my own website after. So yeah. And these buttons also used to just go straight to a Stripe checkout page. But then I decided, you know, most people are not just going to pay $3,000 a month for something that they don't know anything about and they haven't actually had the chance to speak with me yet. So these all basically just pop up a book of free consultation as well right there. And I would like to do this something similar on this website over here. But honestly, like I, I'm not quite as impressed by what Emergent is able to accomplish versus Lovable. I've already made a tutorial on my channel uh, previously, like, over a month ago, showing how step by step I actually built out this uh, MVP for my website using Lovable. But you know, let's just see what this is capable of. I want to see uh, what I can do with some simple prompts and what it looks like. Okay, so now it has actually implemented the pop up, which looks pretty good. That's actually better than what Lovable was able to come up with. So yeah, this is pretty good. So, you know, people can easily schedule a call. It's basically just got cal.com, which is what I use for my calendar, integrated directly into the website here, which looks pretty good. And uh, it looks like the contact button is now broken. So there's some sort of error here. Um, so if I want to fix that, I can come back over to Emergent here and say, fix the error when the contact button is clicked. I'm not exactly sure what's going on there, but I don't have to know what's going on. I can just simply issue it a prompt and it will find the code wherever it is that the, the button is broken with and fix it. So there we go. So now the contact form is working again, as you can see. And it only took a couple seconds. So if you want to see exactly what it fixed over here, I guess this is the code that it changed, I suppose. I don't really know exactly, um, but it is now working. And it also has my calendar over here as well. So yeah, that's a simple tutorial showing how to build out a basic landing page for an AI automation agency uh, using Emergent. Again, there's a link in the description below if you wanna sign up and get started for free. And yeah, just play around with it, see what you can create. Um, there's never been a better time to start learning these skills. And to that point, you can also join my school community, which is over here. We've got 870 members in here at the time of recording, and it's no longer free. It's actually $39 per month to join. 
I provide a lot of value inside this community. And then we also have a classroom as well where you can access courses, templates, and tutorials. So we'd love to see you inside the school community. With that being said, I'm going to sign off. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Peace.